Okay. I thought I thought I seen something that's almost like blood. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. I appreciate y'all coming. And if you're new to the channel, thank you for coming as well. When you get done with this video, if you could go check out some of my other content, I'm more than sure you'll find something that you like. All right. So the wife came and said, hey, I have this song I think you should do. I think it will relate to you. It will also relate to some of your followers as well. And I was like, okay, cool. What is it? And she's like, Chris Stapleton, fire away. So here we are. Chris Stapleton, fire away. Let's get in it. Here we go. At the bar. Wait, hold on. I don't know if y'all saw that. Feel like he had something on his shirt. I don't know. They look happy. Okay, the words, because he's talking about sticks and stones and words that cut like a razor. But watching the video looks contradicting to the words that I'm seeing there the words that I'm hearing in the song because the words in a song kind of put pull that vibe of bad stuff, something bad happening. But I'm, you know, I'm watching the video and it's like, they're happy. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Hey, anybody want to take a guess? Y'all can hit me up in the comments. You know what I'm saying? That's funny. <laughs> All that I'll say. All right, so he's. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought. I thought I seen something. That's almost like blood on his on his t-shirt. And he's drinking. There's no way he's happy. I guess maybe I guess maybe he had a bad call or something. I don't know. Oh, hell no, dude. It's her. It's not him. Well, I wish I could say What did that say? What? Bill changed me from I can't make that out. So obviously, look, this this is hidden in a deep spot for me. 
she's obviously depressed. She's got a lot of some some sort of mental depression, mental health issue of some sort, and that's where the problems that you that are now being shown in the marriage. Like, cause they looked happy. Everything was great. And whatever, whatever caused it, whatever brought it on, it weighs, it weighs on a relationship over time. And it does. And it hits deep because I deal with depression a lot. And it destroys me because I know that it hurts my family. And it's it's hard. It's come back for more. Tell everyone how awesome I am. Yeah. No, Your so awesome. love Let's go. might be Ow. my damn patience. It's already over, guys. <laughs> but I'll cry to my If you have somebody in your life that's dealing with depression, they require they require extra attention. Like it is what it is. It's hard. Is first off, it's hard to pull them out of that. And depending on what it is, I suffer from depression that comes from my PTSD. And I have good days and bad days. Just like it's just like it's depicted in this video. I've been down that dark road and I've had great days. It's hard. It's damn hard. It takes... It takes a very special person to, uh... It takes a special person to be with somebody that deals with depression. Oh, I don't, all right. I don't know if y'all saw this. Fuck me, dude. I don't know if y'all saw this. Look at where his hand is. That's where the fucking blood came from. That's tragic, man.
that's look I'm sorry it's this hit this hit deep like I said I deal with depression and there's days it gets me worse than others there's days I feel like I'm perfectly fine and like I said I I feel bad for my wife and my kids because they don't deserve to have to deal with some of the stuff that happens. Showing out, me getting upset, mad, me being depressed, not want to be around people or them, and just wanting to be detached from everything sometimes. I try to be a better person and I try, I try hard not to be like that. And some days, especially around certain times of the year, it's hard. It's really hard. All I can say is pay attention to those ones that you love and keep them close. If you know that they're dealing with mental health issues, keep them even closer. I dare say to give them the space when they ask for it. But give it to them. But keep keep it minimal. Make sure that you have a very strong hold on what's going on with them. Because uh, you never know. But ultimately, the biggest thing I could, I could say, one of, the, one of the best things that in my experience is support them. Show them beyond a shadow of a doubt. They have somebody there that loves them unconditionally. That's that. I mean, love is the strongest thing to help somebody that's dealing with that. Look, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate everything this channel has done for me because y'all don't know how much me doing these for my audience actually helps me. It actually helps me more than y'all would ever know. And then listening to the comments or not listening, but reading a lot of the comments that I get, they're extremely uplifting. And I, I can't tell y'all how much I appreciate it. But I can assure you, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to keep making these videos. Because I know I'm reaching people. Y'all are not alone. And it's okay. It's okay to not be okay. You might be a little broken. And that's all right, but you're not dead. I've been close to being there more than once, but I know I can't do it because if nothing else, my kids have to have me. They need me. You got to find that purpose to keep yourself here, keep yourself in the game to keep pushing forward. Sometimes it's not easy, but you can do it. If you've made it this far and you haven't subbed yet, hit that sub button. Share. Like the video. All it does is help my channel grow. Why not? You might find you, you, your contribution to this channel might help this video 
or one of my other videos reach somebody that really needs to see it. And it might be what saves somebody's life. It's happened before. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good one. Love y'all. Y'all take care. I'll see you the next one.